Apple Notes, an app that's used by most people who've never taken note-taking seriously and by the 1% of the productivity masters. That's a hell of a bell curve, but this video is not for the top 1%. I bet you're a bit like me. I can't be bothered figuring out how the new hashtags work in Apple Notes or the new X feature that Apple introduced. And all the new stuff just sits there and takes my mental space, which gets to me because I know it's probably best for me if I learn how to use it. So in this video, I decided to selfishly help myself become more productive by showcasing you five tips on how I master Apple Notes, which will now force me to do research and relearn all the nitty gritty secrets of Apple Notes. So I'll show you how I organize notes to accidentally stumble upon useful information that I've archived, the best keyboard shortcuts to speedrun every note, and most importantly, by the very end, you'll know how to make note-taking easy and, dare I say, fun. First, let's talk accessibility. The goal here is to make notes as easy to reach as possible. I have notes in my doc on Mac, then I can easily search for them or hashtags with Spotlight without opening the notes first, or if I have to open the app, then I can type N and hit enter into all friends. Then I set up a hot corner which lets me open a quick note in literally a split second, so on Mac getting to notes quickly is sorted. Then there's the iPhone, and I have the app on the home screen and I enable quick note in the settings so it shows up in the control center. Okay, moving over to this. This is boring. Now how about this? Still boring, but less boring. You see, if you want to start note-taking more and build a second brain, then probably making it fun is the best thing that you can do. For me, if it's not fun, I'm very likely to quit after doing it for a week. So there are three things I'd do to make taking notes fun. Number one is styling, like changing font size or adding bullet points, checklists, tables, and so on. Although after Apple Notes are limited when it comes to customization, I think the limitations make me think more creatively. Number two is adding screenshots, links and photos. This depends on the note, but I try to have as many screenshots or links that help me understand the concepts of the note better. Number three is drawing with your finger or Apple Pencil, if you can afford to have one. I can't, so I'll leave this point with no comment. Next up is organizing. If you already have a few notes laying around, there's going to come a point where a few more are born and it becomes unmanageable. So that's where folders come in. The problem, of course, is that when I place a note inside a folder, it's forever lost there and I tend to never look at it again. So there's one trick I learned that prevents this from happening, and it's all in the name. I think the best way to name a folder is in a way so it houses those notes and and ideas that you would never search for but when going into that folder to move another note there you would just see them by accident so for example instead of a folder called business quotes with 10 notes with quotes i'd name the folder business in general and then when i put something in the business folder my eye would sometimes catch other notes with business quotes and i'll click into them to check it out now what's important is not only the name of the folder, but the note itself. I try naming it as searchably and unforgettably as possible. When there are more than three folders, my brain doesn't want to go through them anymore, so to find notes, I start searching. And if I don't name a note properly, I won't be able to find it. This is also where the before mentioned hashtags come in. You can add a simple one word hashtag which will make it easy to find all notes related to it. So coming back to the business quotes example, every time I make a quick note with a quote, I'll write hashtag quote and the next time I want to find all those notes, I'll just search for quote instead of trying to remember the exact words of that individual quote. Let's move over to my favorite section and that's using hidden iPhone tricks and keyboard shortcuts on Mac to speed run note taking. First life changing event that I encountered was when I realized that you 
you can undo on iPhone. You know when you hold delete for too long and it starts deleting quicker. So just tap with three fingers and you can undo. Then there's moving the cursor around by just hard pressing on the keyboard. Even cooler dictation. If there's more than four words that I need to type, I usually choose to just dictate them. Now there's the new cool stuff like making smart folders which automatically house notes based on their tags and other filters. But let's leave it there and move over to the Mac where there's so much more fun stuff. So to create a new note, just press Command N. To search within the note, Command F. And to search for other notes, Command Option F. If you don't like the view, you can change it with Command and the number. Command 1 will have the list view, Command 2 the gallery view, and Command 3 will show all the attachments. Command Shift period or comma will zoom in or out. You can hide folders with Option Command S and double click on any note to open it in a separate window. I'm so glad I found this trick completely by accident. Now in terms of writing the note itself, I often use Command Shift 7 to add a bullet list and Command Shift 9 to turn it into a numbered list. There are a few more extremely special keyboard shortcuts that make my workflow at least 10 times faster and I made an entirely separate video dedicated only to them. I link to it in the description. Moving over to the next tip and it's not over complicating it. If you only need one note then so be it. But the key is having a good system. At first you may have everything in one note. Then as you use it over time you'll add one more and another and another and then one more and look there's a folder and then another folder and so on. Setting a good foundation at the start like folder structure, hashtags and note layouts that work for you is the key here. The reason for that is so that later you don't have to backtrack and clean up after yourself or even worse quit taking notes and organizing your life altogether because of all the clutter that's built up. So when starting out don't just over complicate it by figuring out your own note taking system. And if you're still open minded about learning something new and useful watch this video next. I'm sure it'll exceed your expectations.